Hello, this is Jimmy Lennon Jr. and a big shout out to my friends at Valera Boxing. It's showtime. This Sunday, February 6th, IBF World Minimum Weight Champion Rene Mark Mighty Mouse Cuarto of the Philippines will defend his title versus Kid Pedro General Taduren, also of the Philippines. It's Filipino versus Filipino for a world championship. Headlining this event at Digo City Gymnasium, Digo's Philippines. The champion, Mark Rene Cuarto, boasts a record of 19 wins and two losses with two draws. 11 of those wins by knockout. He's coming off a unanimous decision victory over Pedro Taduren one year ago to capture the IBF World Minimum Weight Championship. Pedro Taduren has a record of 14 wins and three losses with one draw. 11 of those wins by knockout. He looks to avenge his last loss to reclaim the IBF title. In their first fight, all three judges scored the fight 115-113, going to the winner and new IBF World Minimum Weight Champion. I'm Chris from Belair Boxing, and I'm joined by Philip. Philip Mustagat. What's up? What's up? The first fight one year ago had a lot of action with Taduren applying the pressure for all 12 rounds. Cuarto did a good job countering and fighting off his back foot for most of the fight. In the judges' eyes, that was enough for Cuarto to claim the world title from Taduren. However, many fans and Taduren himself believe he controlled most of the fight and should have successfully defended his world title. Yesterday's weigh-in displayed a lot of intensity between the two. It should also be noted that Cuarto came in three pounds below the 105-pound limit hoping to increase his speed, knowing full well Todorin will once again plan to apply the pressure for all 12 rounds. Bill, how did you score the first fight one year ago? In my opinion, the first fight was a lopsided victory for Tadurang. Um, I had at least eight rounds to four in favor of Tadurang. How the judges scored 115-113, uh, all three of them, I don't know. I don't know what fight they were watching, but Definitely, I had Tadaran winning very decisively. I also saw Pedro Tadaran win that fight. He applied the pressure for all 12 rounds. Rene Marquarto certainly did fight well off of his back foot. I would even say the cleaner shots that were landed in the fight throughout the entire fight were by Cuarto. But I just thought the ring generalship and the amount of pressure and just constantly coming forward and dictating the pace of the fight by Tadurin should have been enough to score a majority of the rounds in his favor. Like I said, the cleaner shots were probably made by Quarto throughout the fight, and perhaps that's what the judges saw. So I, I could see the other side of the coin. For this fight coming up, Phil, how do you see Pedro Tadurin making adjustments, and what does he have to do to reclaim that title? Uh, in, in my opinion, he could easily uh, execute the same strategy and game plan he did in the first fight um, in order to win. But in order for him to decisively win, especially with how these judges are scoring these fights, he probably needs to either knock down Corto or, or knock him out. I agree. I, I think that's that was the one thing lacking in his performance in the first fight. Tadura, again, came forward the entire 12 rounds. He applied the pressure, but he just didn't land that clean shot that would make you go ooh and ah or just get a crowd reaction. I understand it was during the height of COVID and there probably wasn't the same reaction you would expect in a packed house. In fact, I think, again, the cleaner shots and those oohs and ahs came from Rene Marquarto. Tadurin will come forward again, just like he did in the first fight. So if I think there's anything he needs to do different, he needs to connect. That connect could certainly lead to a knockdown or a knockout, and that could certainly help him reclaim that title. He's going to, again, he's going to apply the pressure and do essentially the same type of blueprint and strategy. I don't know if there's anything much more he could do, but again, like you said, other than knocking him down or knocking him out. But let's let's go to the champion, Rene Marquarto. What does he need to do to convincingly win and successfully defend his IBF world title? 
So the, re- the main reason why I say it was a lopsided victory in favor of Tadiran is because of the, the punch volume from Tadiran. He threw at least three times as many punches as Quarto. So if Quarto wants to win decisively, he needs to throw a lot more punches. He, he had the right game plan in the first fight, which is move around, you know, stick and move. Uh, a lot of the times where Corto was was losing and getting in trouble was when he was trying to go toe to toe with Tadaran. Corto isn't really that great of an inside fighter, so what he needs to do is keep Tadaran at a distance, throw a lot of combinations, and then get out. He needs to keep his back off the ropes, and he needs to stay out of the corner. I agree. His his back was against the ropes in the quarter quite often. He did successfully fight up his back foot. I mean, he did win the fight, and he was on his back foot the entire, the entire 12 rounds. He will need to come forward. He will need to come forward and try to apply that pressure, at least counter and match the pressure that Tadurin will, will apply to him. He's going to have to throw some big shots again. He would had plenty of combinations in the rounds that he went. In fact, I scored the first in the first six rounds. I had it three to three. And in my mind, it was very lopsided in the last half of the fight, which is kind of funny, or the irony is that all three judges, if you look at the scorecard, they saw the last half of the fight, the majority of the rounds going to the current champion, Rene Marquardt. Quarto is going to have to, again, match that pressure, throw those volume punches, create some volume, create some combinations, and throw and continue to throw that left hook. And in fact, that left hook did connect quite clean. Like I said, the cleaner shots throughout the fight did come from Quarto. I don't know if it was enough to score a 115-113 victory, but he did, and he's now the IBF champion of the world and trying to defend. So let's go to keys to victory, Phil. Just keys to victory for the challenger, Pedro Tadurin. Um, He needs to... Uh execute the same game plan he had in the first fight, which is come forward, apply pressure, cut the ring off, throw a lot of combinations and a lot of volume. And you know what? Tadaran has, has power in his hands. He, he could, in my opinion, he has the ability to knock down Quarto and maybe even knock him out. If you watch during the fight, um, Quarto did have some clean punches, but I'd say the cleanest punch of the fight was Tadaran when he threw, I believe it was a, a left hook that uh, buckled Quarto. And Quarto had to retreat after that left hook. So if Tadaran applies that pressure and he catches Quarto slipping and he could throw that, that, that hook and land cleanly, he might be able to put away Quarto or at least drop him to get those, those extra points to, to get the victory. And what are the keys to victory for Rene Marquardt, Um, Yeah, it's like I said before. He needs to throw a lot more punches than he did the first fight. The first fight, he had some clean left hooks, and they looked good. But in my opinion, it wasn't enough to win. Um, in my opinion, he, he was gifted that victory. With, with a few punches that he threw, uh, he was definitely gifted that victory. So he needs to throw a lot more volume, throw a lot more punches. He had a good game plan of, of circling and trying to stay away from Tadaran. But I felt like when he, when he tried to trade in the pocket with Tadaran and go toe-to-toe, he, he was definitely not getting the better of those exchanges. So he needs to circle, keep his back off the ropes, stay out of the corner, and throw a lot more volume than he did the first fight. He needs to throw more punches uh, than Tadaran, or at least uh, throw the same amount. And but land cleaner and more precise shots in order to get the victory. And Phil, what's your prediction for Sunday? Um, man, if the judges score fairly this time, not like the last fight, I believe Tadaran will secure the victory. Um, but if if, it, if the judges score this fight like they did the last fight, you know who knows. But if the judges score fairly, I have Tadaran by decision. I too of Pedro Tadurin. I think the blueprint for him will be again very similar, if not the same, 
than the first fight. I don't know if there's much more he can do other than knocking him out or knocking him down. I think he did enough. And I thought he fought the exact same fight or the exact fight that he wanted to. He applied pressure for all 12 rounds. He connect, He had his opponent on the ropes. He was throwing combinations, heavy volume for every round. And I just thought he overwhelmed him. On the flip side, Rene Marquartho did fight off his back foot quite successfully. But in the last half of the fight, I thought he was getting tired and he gassed. There was plenty of slipping going on. I think a lot of that slipping and lack of balance was just from exhaustion. He did lose three pounds. So there's probably an effort to try to get him in better shape, create some speed, create some conditioning. But I just think, again, the blueprint will be exactly the same. I don't know if the outcome will be the same, but it should be an exciting fight, just like the first fight. The first fight was packed with plenty of action. One fighter coming forward, the other fighter countering. There was a lot of phone booths and toe-to-toe. Very a lot entertaining. Of, a lot of landing. It was really entertaining, and I expect tomorrow's fight to be entertaining as well. So this Sunday, February 6th, IBF World Minweight Champion, Rene Marquarto will attempt to defend his title versus Kid Pedro Henarel Padur and also the Philippines. Leave your comments below. Let us know who you think will win this fight again this Sunday from the Philippines, Filipino versus Filipino for a world championship. The IBF World Minweight Championship, Rene Mark Mighty Mouse Quarto versus Kid Pedro Henarel Tadurin.